the title of what Lord put in my heart, and it's been I've been meditating on this, is, gosh, um, perfect weakness. You know, um, if you have your Bible, please turn to Second Corinthians, chapter twelve and verse nine. I'm going to read this just slightly out of out of uh, order here. Second uh, Corinthians, chapter twelve, verse nine. And Jesus said to me, and the Lord said to me, and, and I'm going to skip and put this here, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. I, I, I have found this. I, I've, I've traveled around, and you know, I've, I've been living for a little while. And, you know, after a while, I have found this. Um, Trying to find finality or finding peace, finding rest. I, the only place where I can find it is in the presence of God. I, I've been doing what I've been doing for a very long time. And um, since I've been doing this as a sole proprietor in my business, I find that I can't take a break, you know, because if a man doesn't work, he doesn't eat neither. And I'm going, Dad, gosh, you know, I, 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 I I put my phone on stun because it rings some days like every five seconds. And I look at the email having to fix what people have broken oh, way too much. And I'm going, gosh, Dad, um, is there any peace? Is there any rest? And, 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 I, and, you know, inside of that, I have to take a look at where inside of my life have not, I not been able to... Uh, put things in order to be able to have this thing called peace. I, I, I know that this is very true, and I've gone around the world, and the world thinks that weakness is something that's very odd. The more and more I've had fellowship with Daddy God, Pastor Aaron touched on this very thing. The, the world thinks that it's weak of you to tell somebody you're sorry. But I have found this, that if, and, and I look at this man, Moses, he, he did this one time, and he, he the, the people that were following him into this promised land said, hey, we're in this place, we have no water, we need water now. And his response was just about like uh, what Pastor Aaron's was, was, you know, you stupid people, all you want is. <laughs> and God said, gosh, you know what? You really didn't represent me right, very well right here. And, and you know, there, there is some truth on the evidence of what is evident that we need to point out. But, gosh, I, in my life, I have found that I probably could do less things than, than what I wanted to do. You know, I have not the ability in myself to produce the very things. You know, when I was walking around as a child, even as a child and even growing up, he says, boy, look at that kid. Boy, he's pretty stupid. Why, why, why don't you talk the same way as we do or, or walk the same way or do the same thing you do? But you know what I found? That I had to look inside of me and say, gosh, what's, what's different? What is missing? And what in my life is not causing these things to produce this very thing called life. And you know, I looked and I looked and I looked and I thought that the world, anybody that was three seconds older than me, that they had the answer. Uh, but, but I met this man. His name was Jesus. My testimony was I was introduced to something that I had no, no way that I could help if I could help it, but somebody said, one day you will die. I said, my. Do you know, I think I'm going to be in trouble here. A man immediately came to my house and said, hey, I'd like to take you to church. This man uh, walked up, he shared the gospel of Jesus Christ with me, and that very thing that was fear in my life reversed and turned into a great thing called joy and purpose. Because I had, immediately after that, I, used, I had dreams, 
having pertaining to that very thing that caused uh, fear in my life, that God later caused me to rise up and to speak into that very thing that was fear. I had to do this, though. Just the same as, as, as Pastor Aaron said with his children. I, you know, I have a couple of children. And as I was raising them, I, I found that, that, gosh, you know, it, if I pointed out and I said, gosh, you, you stupid, but not, not looking any deeper. Because the kingdom of God is this. It's a precious treasure. It's that very thing that's hidden in a man. And we know that there is no one, there is no one that is great enough to live in perfectness, for all have sinned. All have sinned, missed the mark. They have fallen short of the glory, the splendor, who God is. Not being able to find peace, not being able to find rest, not being able to find this creative power. But when I was introduced to Jesus Christ, I received this incredible thing called faith. I I seen this very weakness that I cannot do anything in myself, but in him I can do all things. Where did that come from? But me just hanging out with God and reading his Bible. Uh, it says this, that for my strength is made perfect in weakness. For all have fallen short of the glory of God, but inside of us, inside of me, God looked inside and he spoke to me and he told me the very things that I was and he used men and women of God by prophecy, by his word. But the only way that I could know this was by being introduced to the very plan that God had, not in my own self, because I can search, I can search, I can do, and I can do foolish things, and I can do the things that, that the world will want me to do, that, and even call people weak. But I have found this, that the only weakness is, a person has is not giving that which is not God to God and receiving who he is and that promise that he has. I have fallen short even, uh, gosh, you know, stumbling is part of a life of a believer, but the wonderful thing is in the presence of God, through the shed blood of Jesus, we can get up and walk. We can get up and do the very thing that God has told us to do. I, people have requested of me very difficult things in my life, and through speaking the truth, asking, you know, I, I don't have this inside of me. God revealed powerful things. This is just my testimony. Uh, in, in business, I, I go, gosh, there, there is no way possible that I should know what I know. But God is placed in. How do I, gosh, you, you know, I, I don't have any formal education other than high school and God. The testimony of people that I've met said, gosh, where, where, have you, where did you get your doctorate from? And I said, and I tell them this testimony, it isn't by the fact of my brilliance because there is none. It's only because of the one that is inside of me that reminds me of all things that reveals witty inventions that causes life to be. He spoke to me through someone else and showed me the very things that I needed help on. And then they said, here is the wonderful thing. Here is where strength is. You can trade those things that you have not, and you can get what God has. They didn't stop. I'm glad they didn't stop in my foolishness, in my weakness, in what I did not become. But they shared life eternal. And this is life eternal, knowing the only true God and Jesus Christ whom he sent. Through this very token of these words, I, 
I seen who I was, not really caring for that, but he made a way. I, I can trade it in. I can trade something in that did not give me peace, that did not give me life, that caused torment and was literally hell living through in my life because of the shed blood of Jesus, I could come into this place where rest is found, where peace is known, where I am right with God, and he loves when I talk to him, and he loves to be able to speak back into my life. The world, the world and I go to different countries where they said, you know, this Jesus is just for old people and poor people. But you know what? I was poor. But you know I am the wealthiest man in the entire world because I know the wealth of life that I am able to grab hold of and to tap into. I do it more and more. The more and more that this very weight of heaviness through having to get things done in the world, the more and more time I, I know, gosh, Dad, I just want to spend some more time with me. Speak to me. I, I'll tell you what's not here, and I'll tell you what is in here. And he confirms it, and he shows himself. I love this verse, John 14, 21, if a man has my commandments and keeps them, it's he that loves me, and I shall love him, and so shall my Father, and I will show myself. If you're needing peace, you need to find peace. You need to see in his word where peace is found. And it's, you know, gosh, here it is, Emmanuel, God with us, Prince of Peace, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. Here's what I have found. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. And he said this before Jesus did, my grace is sufficient for you. You know, I've done a lot of things that should not have been done. I, I'll just tell you the story. One time I went to, to Roatan, Honduras, and they asked me to, to minister to the crew that was there. And meanwhile, they had things that broke down on, in, on this ship. And they said, hey, nobody seems to, the, the engineer's kind of gone. And this needs kind of me fix this as a crane here and it's not really working. I said, well, Dad, I, I'll do what the best that I can do. I'll give it a shot. I, I have not a clue, but I thank you that I can do all things through Christ in the anointing, in your presence, in who you are. They showed me where it was. I opened the door to this thing and says, wow, I know how this works. I can fix that. And it wasn't by anything that... I had inside of me as preconceived knowledge. I've gone into countries where I could not speak the language, and I began to, to, to preach, and I, I, I preach in tongues, and it would end up being in that language. Is it me? No. It's by the grace of God. It's by his ability in, in me. And the only way that I could do that is by turning off or repenting or letting and making lower, causing those things that I think is wise to become stupid and allow the weakness that I have being strong in who he is. Again, this is life eternal, knowing you, the only true God and Jesus Christ you sent. We're talking about grace even tonight. As I was speaking with Dad all through the day, I said, Dad, I... You know, I believe that there are people that, that have not found rest. They're, they're working in there. They're, they're just, oh, a whole bunch of different things are going on in their life that's causing them to feel, oh, I need help. You know, our dad desires, our father God desires to give. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that he that believes upon him should not perish but have. Do you know what I get to do today?
I get to have eternal life. And you know what eternal life is? This word have in the, in the Greek means echo. I get to echo what my daddy does, what my daddy says. I, I can only do what I see my father do. Why, why do we get frustrated? Is it possibly that we're looking? Possibly we've got some other advice from another, another entity, and they want to be dad in our life instead of the only true God. I, I know this. Uh, you out there, if you, you're needing to touch, I'll just stretch my hand and I just believe, because I've seen this happen. It doesn't matter where, where I am, what you are, but the Spirit of God laying hold of and touching you and peace be, rest be. It's in His presence. It's in knowing that God is. For without faith, it's impossible to please. It's, it's impossible to be satisfied. You may, you may want some things, but it still be sin, and you think that it will be okay, but you know what? It's pleasurable for only a season, and then death comes. He, you are angry, and yet sin. Something else comes out in the middle of who you are. You've got the advice that this is weakness, and so you know what? I'm going to do this because that's the way that I was told that it should be instead of knowing that God is. Tonight, you know who you are and you know what's inside of you. No matter what has gone on in your life, you know the th very things because you've been having right now flashes of things that do not produce life, do not produce joy, do not produce peace, do not produce, you know that you're not in right standing with Daddy God right now. But in your weakness, in the very inability for you to produce life, God has made a way. <laughs> Pastor Aaron said this, which is the totally wonderful thing. If you confess your sin, if you confess the very thing that you're trying to do it other than God's way, my, what things, what things have you done? Have you been doing it without God, the, without the presence of God, without knowing that he is? Gosh, we do and we get busy. And because of the busyness, we, we misplace God. I would wonder, I would want to think that, you know, when we do that, we are called lost. Because we lost eternal life. We lost the very thing that causes us to have prosperity, that causes us to have joy, that at the very end, we know that we can have peace in our inability, no matter what it is. Even in the simple things. If you've been backbiting, if you've been cheating on whatever you've been doing, God knows. God's been speaking to your heart in that very thing today while you were going, oh, you, you know that the presence of God, God, the holy God of the creator of all, is attempting to speak to you, and he wants to give you a time frame, and it's now. To know that you can change your mind and you can have rest and you can have peace. It's a very simple thing. Jesus, my, I mess up. This is my heart. You see what's inside of it. You know the very thing that I am not able to do. The very things, my thought, my imaginations are causing me to fall short, are keeping me from doing things that are enabling me to have prosperity, to having health, to having a family, to having the very things that I desire in my life. But if we profess, we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 
right where you are. If you know, want to know this is true, I, I, I've seen this occur. I do this on the streets. I, I did this the other day. God wants to know. He wants you to know that he loves you so very much that if you believe, I'll, I'll lay hands on you even through this internet and you will feel the presence of God speaking to you through his touch. Right now, I'm just going to release. <sighs> Peace be. You who have given that which is not, receive that which is. I am love. I am life. I am your God. Know that he is. Be blessed and receive from him today. For he is the God that loves you. He is the one that gives us strength. In that very place of he is, I've overcome my own natural father said, why, through all the things that you've been through in your life, how could you maintain and say that you love this God that's put you through hell? I said, you don't understand the very things that I've seen. I've gathered up things in my life that have proven to me that in my inability, he is able. The very things that I could not do in him, I can be. In him, I can have. In him, I know that in this oneness of who he is, we can know life. We can know life. If I have not checked, and please forgive me, online. If you guys say, well, you know what, I'd like to be touched by God and I need to turn this on the power went off and so we're watching thank you but I, I believe this there are people out there that have not or are looking for this very thing called rest and peace strength in these days there are people that People that need a touch, my. In the 80s, I wrote this song, I Need a Touch. One touch from you will see me through. Reverend, Reverend Mark, in Jesus' name, I just release the oneness of God to you. The fresh breath, that which you've meditated on, I thank you. That as you think about these very things, he said that I would give to you breath. Receive it. Strength. Receive it. Know that he is. Just receive and enjoy the presence of God. For this is life. Praise God. Well, Amanda, you know the drill. Just lift your hands. Just know his touch. Right now, you are positioned for strength. You are positioned for life. You, out of the tenderness and weakness of your heart, our God is giving. Here's his breath. Here's his life. Whew. Praise God. Praise God. If anybody here tonight needs strength, needs peace, if... He, I, I've been just feeling, oh. I spoke this over a couple thousand Chinese one time in this auditorium, these high school students, saying, you know what language does God speak? Is it Chinese? Of course, they said no. Is it Spanish? And I... I said, Spanish is a beautiful country, is language. Hay un trono en mi corazón para ti, mi buen señor, y busco el lugar donde tú estás. In my heart, there is a throne room. I said, is it English? And they all nodded yes, because they had need of this. 
I said, do you know really the language that God speaks? I'll tell you this morning, many of you, many of you have been acquainted with it. This very language that God speaks is that one of the heart where, where he, because of something that you've done and because of you not being used to or knowing or, or fallen out of knowing or have not come into contact with knowing the voice of God or his presence, he made it known to you through this. <sighs> he speaks the language of the heart. He wants to let you know that there's something missing in your life. And it comes by this, and don't, do not, do not miss the opportunity. Don't miss the opportunity to find God while he still can be found. He spoke to your heart, respond to his heart. One day, my heart was spoken to and I responded, and I received his heart. And in that, it's ever growing, ever being new. Does anybody here wants a touch? Daddy God, he, he wants to give it. Here is grace also. I'm but a, I was but a sinner. But because of the shed blood of Jesus, this grace caused me, enabled me to do things that I could not do. I could not have children. God gave me children. I, I, in my hands, I could not heal anybody. But by the presence of God, I laid hands on the sick. This man received a new heart. Blind eyes been opened from birth. This little child had, could not hear, and I laid hands, and God touched and caused hearing to be. new limbs being formed this is grace is grace is this we don't deserve what god has for us but because of his love because we do it his way which is gosh you know what in your weakness you need me there is sin in your life which is basically you missed the mark and again all we have to do is say thank you and receive who he is amen well we're going to worship i didn't catch this last part here if i didn't thank you very much amen amen so praise god what we're going to do is we're going to worship god because there's no one like him in this place in this place where you are you can encounter, you can know personally that he is. For with your heart you believe, and with mouth you will profess, and salvation shall be seen in your life. In Jesus' name, amen.